Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to remove extra comma or extra double quotes from a CSV file in SSIS. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can remove an extra comma from a CSV file or how we can remove an extra quote from a CSV file. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber GCO and the question was that there are some commas in this CSV file so how we can remove it. So for example if you look at the first line 1 2 3 comma company comma LLC. So this is the original data and this is the desired output. So if you see that after company and before LLC there is a comma here okay. So this particular column is enclosed within double quote but there is a comma here so we need to remove the comma which is present before LLC and if you check the addresses so after addresses there is a comma so this needs to be removed and after 1 2 3 there is a double quote extra double quote so this double quote should be removed from the this particular data so this is the data that we want as output so I thought to work on this one as this is one of the most faced issue in for the ETL developers or SSI developers that sometimes in a CSV file there can be some extra double quotes or some extra commas so how we can fix this particular issue so let's see how we can do that so let's jump to the demo so i got a csv file source.csv in the d files location and if i show you the data in the text pad so there are four columns in this particular file id name address and drug company okay so this particular data is a comma separated data and the columns are enclosed by a double quote okay so if there will be some extra comma in this particular file or there will be any extra double quote then those particular extra comma or extra double quote should be removed from the file that's what we wanted for now let me just load this particular file as it is into the sql server table and then i will show you if i add any extra comma or any extra double quote then what will happen okay so let me close this particular file and let me open the sql server management studio so i have already created a table drug underscore company in the work database and as of now the table is empty so this is my simple SSI spec is just data flow task that actually load the data from a CSV file into the SQL server table so let me show you to which CSV file it is pointing to so it is pointing to the source CSV file okay so let me just execute this particular SSI package so it should import 1000 records into the SQL server table so it loaded 1000 records and let me check the data in the SQL Server table. So the data has been loaded. There are 1000 records in the drug underscore company table. So this is good so far. Now let me just try to add a comma or double quote into the this particular file. So for example, in the first record, the first record in the file is the header information, but the actual records are starting from this line, from the second line. So let me put an extra comma here okay and then in the third line or you can see for the second record let me put an extra comma after the distributors okay so i have put an extra double quote after the distributors in the third line and in the second line i have put a comma in the name so let me save this particular file and now let me just try to reload the data but before reloading the data let me just truncate this table so now the table is empty and now let me just try to rerun the SSI package. So ideally the package should fail. Okay, because there are some extra double quotes in the file, so that's why it will fail. So it is saying that the column delimiter for column drug company was not found and error occurred on the data row number three. So this is failing because we have put an extra double quote in the line number three, this line, okay so this is the extra double code so this is why the package is failing okay now to fix this particular issue there are two options either we can just check the error description from the SSIS package and we know that on the row number three there is some issue so we can just go to that particular line and then remove the double quote manually and maybe remove the comma manually from here of course it won't throw the error for the comma but it will throw the error for the double quote so what I have done, I have written some code in the C sharp language. In the console application, I have written the code and this code you can also call from the SSIS package inside a script task. Okay. So what I have done, I have created two functions, remove double quote and comma and then I have created another function, remove double quote. So if you want to remove the double quotes 
and the comma from the file then you can call this particular function and if you just want to remove the double quotes and you do not want to remove the comma then you can call the second function so let me just call the first function which will remove the double quotes and the comma from the file so my source file is, will be this one d files location source.csv so source.csv will be my source file and my destination file will be dest file at the same location okay so the dest file will be created by the console app automatically and yeah it will remove the extra comma and the extra double quotes from the file so let me execute this particular console app so the app ran fine now let me go back to the d files location and you can see that a new file dest file.csv got created and now first of all let me open my source file in the text pad and then let me open my dest file as well so that i can compare those two records okay so if you look at the second record there was an extra comma after ichabod but in my destination file now there is no extra comma so the extra comma has been removed and now if you look at the third line there was an extra double quote after the distributors but if you check the third line here so there is no extra double quote so the extra double quote has been removed from the file and the extra comma has also been removed from the file okay so now let me just try to import the second file dest file into the sql server table and let's see if the data is same okay so what i can do i can just truncate the i think that there is no data as of now so let me just change the uh, location of the file actually name of the file as of now it is trying to load the source file but let me just try to load the destination file so the destination file should be loaded successfully because there are no extra comma or extra delimiter in the file so the file got loaded successfully and let me check the data in the sql server table so the data seems good here for the first line now there is no extra comma and for the second line there is no extra double quote so this is working fine so i will share all this code with you so that either you can create a console app or you can use this code in an ssis package okay actually it's easy to test the code in a console app and write the code in a console app because it takes some time to open the ssis package and open the script tasks and then just debug everything there so it's easy to debug the code in the console app now there is a catch in this particular code that it won't remove the 100% of the double quotes or the 100% of the extra commas from the file most of the time maybe 90 to 90% or 95% it will work but there is a catch that it will only remove the extra double quote or it will only remove the extra comma from the data if the extra comma is not the first character of a particular column and the extra comma is not the last character of a particular column similarly an extra double quotes from the data will only be removed if the double quote is not the first character of a column and the extra double quote is not the last character of a particular column so because this double quote is present in between or even if the double quote is present after for example r or after any location it should not be the first character and similarly it should not be the last character then this particular code will work and yeah and i have also told that the comma can be present in anywhere but it should not be the first character of this particular column and it should not be the last character only then it can work so i will share this csv file and the code with you and you can test it in your environment so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much